Um, you can feel the excitement in the air. Hall of Fame festivities are almost here. It truly is the most exciting time here in Canton, Ohio. Um, and we are so excited at Mix 94.1 to partner with the Canton Chamber um, to talk about all these amazing things. I mean, the list here is absolutely <laughs> jam-packed, and there's such a big undertaking. Um, and I'm sitting with Melissa from the Chamber. And Melissa, I've said this to other people. I want to say this to you as well. Thank you so much for what the Chamber does and making all these things happen in Canton because it truly is, like, a huge deal. It is. Um, so let's talk about the scope of things and let's talk about how big this is from the beginning to the end and kind of, you know, the people, the partners and everything that makes this magic happen. Can you give us some perspective on it? Yeah. So I'm entering into my second year of the festival. I think the first year I was very naive. Sure. So what was happening. <laughs> and this year I, I have a whole idea of the scope as right. you, as you put it, of what goes into this. It's, it's a year of planning. You know, as soon as it ends, we're planning for next year. Uh, and, and, uh, we have new people, new blood. We're really trying to look at ways that we can elevate these events, that we can reinvent them um, to some degree. And we really believe that these events are the pride of our community, of the region. 100% and, I agree. And we want to get people involved that may not have thought that they could be involved at any other point in time. And that goes from the audience, the people that attend, and from community partners. So corporate, um, corporate partners, individuals, anybody that feels that they could be a part of these in some capacity, we're reaching out and really trying to connect with those people. Yeah, that's such a big part of this is that kind of idea that the lift of, or the rise of tide lifts all boats. And like, that's kind of what I think this is really all about. And even if you're not into football, one of the things I love about Hall of Fame, you know, enshrinement fest festivities is that there's really something for everyone. So whether we're talking about the fashion show, which I will be a model in. I don't know if you've heard of this, but I will be making my full modeling debut. I'm very excited as well. Um, I recently had my fitting and it felt ridiculous, but they were like, no, you look great. I was like, okay, this is what I'm wearing. You'll be a natural. Um, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Um, but whether it's something like that to the parade, um, and certainly if you are a football fan, truly like the greatest weekend of the year, um, there's just so many different things for people to get on board with. So what are you excited about to be a part of this year? I'm excited about a number of the events. Um, you know, the chamber does about 70% of the festival events. And sure. so I think the one that really stands out to me this year is the Grand Parade. Of course. I'm super excited about having Joe Thomas here with us. Browns fans are going to be going nuts. It's, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of barking down Cleveland yeah, Avenue. <laughs> I know. I'm excited. And so that's going to be just kind of set the tone, I'm hopeful, for the whole week. Uh, last year, we had five floats in the Grand Parade. Okay. I think people are going to be excited to know that we have 13 wow. floats this wow. year. So we've more than doubled it, which was one of our goals. And that's just, Matt, that's something that we've really focused on is looking at each event and right. thinking about how can we keep the tradition alive for all of these events because they mean so much to so sure. many people. But then also take a piece of it and just continue to elevate each one. And, and what can we do differently? What can we do that's going to draw in new people? And we have younger audiences. Right. What's going to connect with them and make them want to come be a part of them? Yeah, a couple of things that I've heard of, you know, that you guys are going to be doing that I'm excited about. Um, the Clydesdales, yeah. that's going to be absolutely awesome. I know they start at Balloon Fest, and then they're going to you know, go all the way through the parade. Um, at Balloon Fest, those tethered rides, tethered that's ride. going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So like you talk about these new things. Is there anything else that you know is kind of on that list of like, hey, this is new, this is fresh, yeah. this is something you're really going to want to check out? One thing that we're excited about um, when it comes to partnerships, which is really my, my focus, sure. is uh, we have been talking with Certified Angus Beef out of Worcester, but it's a national brand. Okay. And it's a great brand. You see it in the grocery stores. Okay. Um, it's fabulous. And so one thing that we're doing for the dinner, Gold Jacket Dinner, I don't know if everybody knows, we feed 4,400 people that night at the Civic Center. That's a whole lot. That of is a people. lot of people. And so we want to bring them a quality meal. Sure. And so we partnered with Certified Angus Beef this year, and we're going to have Certified Angus Beef steaks at the dinner. Feels appropriate. And it's, just, it's just that small thing, but that's what we're doing. We're looking at each thing to make sure that when you leave there, you're like, you know, I went there for football, but I had a really good meal. And so it's just just one more thing that we're looking to do. And that's just kind of an idea of gives you a perspective of, you know, how detailed we're trying to get to make these worthwhile to people when they come out. The the bigger picture is made up of details. So mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely awesome that you're looking for those little 1% ways to kind of make things better and kind of grow things. And I think that is, that's the way to sustain success right there. So that's absolutely awesome. You mentioned the gold jacket dinner. Yeah. Um, I know there's a limited amount of tickets left yeah. for that. Yeah. HOFEF.com. If I Very wanted to get good. that, HOFEF.com. <laughs> um, I'll say it one more time. HOFEF.com. You can find them on Facebook, all the social medias and all that stuff. I love it. 
Um, but yeah, really that's, you know, you can go to the website and kind of get all the information for yeah. any of these events, correct? Yeah, you can. And for fashion show, gold jacket, round table, tickets are still available. Like you mentioned, we'd love for people to come out. Think about the round table. I think people really forget about that event. Truly my favorite event. You will not feel more up close and personal with these enshrinees until you go to that event. It's right. so personal. It's so intimate. You hear stories you're never going to hear anywhere else. I love it. I love well, it. I mean, and that's really the thing with, I feel like a lot of Hall of Fame enshrinement festival stuff that leads up, you get access that you just wouldn't get anywhere else. No. And I remember the first year I lived in Canton, I was working here at Mix 94.1 and I was living downtown. So Hall of Fame weekend rolls through and I go to the parade and I'm all sleepy eyed and I'm kind of hung over from first Friday the night before. And I remember it's like, yo, there's Emmett Smith. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I like, just him. like, right, just like <laughs> huge, like legit superstars of the NFL. Just like kind of walking yeah. down the street with you. And it truly is an amazing experience. So um, I think I'll end it like I began it and just say thank you so much for doing this because it's a huge point of pride for the community. They're unbelievable experiences. This isn't something you can get in so many other places. Yeah. And this is something the community should be a part of. So once again, Melissa, thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you.